So joining me here on Warriors TV, sponsored by Howden's Time Tunnel, is Josh Crane. Josh, how did you find uh, that game for you? Uh, yeah, it was a good game. Uh, I, you know, watching it the first, at, at the start, it was, it was really entertaining. And you know, um, for the people that came down, I think a nine-three score is one that they would like to see. Um, you know, when it's sometimes whatever to near uh, to zero or nil, um, then it's you know sometimes a little bit less competitive and a little bit more boring. So I, I think it was a really good fan, uh, fan experience that day. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be part of it. I was going to say, is it good for you to have been able to get some ice time this evening and uh, really kind of put your mark on on holding down that Warriors net? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, obviously, the, the, um, going in for the third period was uh, really good just to get some some, some ice and get that started. So um, to get the uh, get the ball rolling, get it moving, and now on to next week's practice, and then the next week and and further on. So yeah, that's going to be good. It was a bit of a strange one for you because I know that you've obviously spent some time with Nottingham in the past, so it must have been strange kind of having some maybe former teammates there yeah. <laughs> shoot the puck on you. Yeah, um, so yeah, I knew I knew a few of their players and I knew what they sort of liked to do, which I think sort of helped um, mean that I was a bit more confident. Uh, obviously, it being the first bit of ice that I've seen this season, so um, yeah, definitely from that perspective. But it's it's really good to see them, uh, see them again. I think there was quite a few players on their team that played really well, like Luca, who I shared the net with last year in goal. Um, I thought they, they played pretty well. It was it was a bit strange to um, see them on the other side, but um, it's good to see them coming forward and getting better and better as well. You know, it's, hockey's quite a communal sport. Everybody knows each other. So it's good to see that, you know, from a friend perspective, even if I'm on the other side. Yeah. And, and despite that 9-3 scoreline, we have to give credit to the Lions. They did come back uh, quite well didn't they and, and though the scoreline doesn't quite reflect it they did put up a good shot yeah and there's a lot of uh, young players on that team I know um, the coach prides himself on uh, giving young players a chance so um, to see two periods of really hard fought hockey that's you know that's really good and um, it's, yeah it's going to be good for them but that means that it makes it better for us as well it means it makes it harder for us and we've got to and then that means we've got to you know that next week it'll be again uh, we, we're going to get better and better each week ourselves as well, so that's really good. And it's a game that's kind of had a bit of a toll on the Warriors as well, uh, it has to be said. Um, just talk us through a, a few of the things that have come out of that final period. We've had a, a few injuries with the team, haven't we? Oh, yeah, um, we've got no word on Adam yet. I've not, I'm not really sure exactly what's happened, but um, hopefully Adam, Adam's all right and uh, Connor as well. Um, those guys, you know, hard fought guys. So I, I expect to see them back, but um, I don't know when, to be honest. I, I, so I, I can't really uh, say anything from that perspective, but again, but you know, it's 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 tough to lose people like that in, in the middle of a game. But I think I think we've got a, a deep bench, and I think that's something that we this team prides themselves on, and that's going to be good for going forward as well. And, and looking ahead at next week, obviously we, we've already faced Solway a couple of times away. It has always proven quite difficult to beat them. Do you think? Next week, having that home, or next home game, I should say, having that home advantage is going to work in the favour of the Warriors to be able to finally shut these Sharks down? I think the, the fans in this building are really going to give us a bit of a boost. On it. it was great to see it out there, you know, hearing everything. It's not something you get um, playing in Nottingham all the time, and, uh, playing in the COVID Cup last year, like that's what we sort of call it, you know. <laughs> you don't get, it, people were just watching on the stream. It's it's so much nicer to have them back in the building. So that was, it, I think that, if the, if, you know the Warriors uh, massive are out there and that would be really good so yeah, I think that will give us a good boost. Well Josh great to see you wearing that Warriors jersey out in the net this evening and uh, thanks for talking to us here on Warriors TV. Thank you very much my pleasure.